they'd be like, babe, where are you at tonight? And I'd say where I am, and then they'd be like, let's go up, grab a bite, and I'd be like, oh, I'm not hungry. But before, I used to always go for the food. Like, this is when a bitch was broke. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> ask me out, I'm coming, don't matter what you look like. <laughs> let's go out to eat, I'd be like, I'm there, bitch. And then niggas get confused, because certain of them niggas that I went to eat with, they start telling people they was linking me. I'm like, you didn't link me, I came for the food. And then these niggas be telling people I was their ex or some shit, because I went to dinner. Like, the bitch trying to eat. So when I first did the song, all I kept hearing was, ha, ah. so, wait, ha, ha, I gotta do it properly. I just wanted French and I didn't want anybody else and I was like, yeah, French will sound so sick on this, he sounds sick. Yeah, I really um, appreciate him for doing that because he didn't have to do it, he didn't have to do the song, he didn't really need a little bit of me, you know, I mean. So yeah, I appreciate him for just, just doing it for me. Breakfast in bed, darling. I got your bed falling. When I'm in a relationship, I'm perfect. I really am. I always say this. I'm like, I'm such a perfect girlfriend. Like, obviously now I'm too busy, but before, when I didn't have shit to do, I was so perfect. I used to literally make breakfast for my ex every morning. Yeah, could you believe that? Look at your face, like, hmm, where to find them girls? Yeah, they're not here no more. But look, now, do you get any breakfast in bed, darling? You don't. I make you beg for it. I make you beg for it. Breakfast in bed, darling. I got your bed falling. <laughs> That's that real good, good shit, you know? The bed breaking and shit. <laughs> yeah, because you know, when you do that super turbo shit, the bed's from Ikea, you know, they be breaking. <laughs> I made mistakes, you done me wrong, but now you leave me calling. I heard you got a new girlfriend, and it's hurting me. I heard you got a new girlfriend, and it's hurting, and it's hurting, and it's hurting me, 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 and it's hurting me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. So it's about an ex-girlfriend feeling really hurt that her boyfriend has moved on and now has a new girlfriend. So in the song, I'm playing the ex-girlfriend, but in real life, I was the new girlfriend. Because sometimes some people ain't ready to move on. So I knew she was hurt because she kept calling him and just making arguments out of nothing. Like, you know, like attention, you wanted attention. But on a real note, that's really deep. If you do love someone and you want to be with them, and you see that they don't want to be with you and they actually found someone else, that's actually really deep. Tears down my face falling. I'm in the place balling. If I ever find a find a find her, I'm sending shots. But, but. Of course it's um, painful when a guy is disloyal, especially when you know you're perfect. And then the bitch is so bummy as well, so it makes it even more hurtful, so that's an extra tear. Most of the time, when guys do this stuff, it's nothing to do with you. It's just their insecurities and their shit upbringing. That's why they do certain things that they do, because they always like to ruin good stuff. I don't know why you're stalling. Can you give me signs? Can you please call me? Baby, you're rewinding it all on me. Baby, give me time, beg you love, love me. Well, they don't learn shit. They act like they do, you know? They want to cry back <laughs> when they don't have you. That's when they remember. But as soon as they get you back, oh no, that part of your brain of pain is gone. They go back, do the same shit. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. No, maybe someone should shoot your ass. I thought, I thought about that a couple of times. I'm like, yeah, how is the niggas going to learn? How are we going to teach these niggas? So maybe my next boyfriend, if he just takes the piss, I won't, maybe I won't shoot him, maybe stab him. <laughs> in the leg though, like not, not in the dangerous parts of the body, you know, not in the arteries, no, I'm not trying to go to jail. <laughs> just the leg so that when we break up and he's got his new girlfriend, she'll be like, what happened to your leg, boo? <laughs> he just thinks of me. 